pinch him. Well, good afternoon, people. I'm back with a Division 2 build video. One I haven't done for a while, to be fair. Um, but I've had so much fun with this gear set over the past few days. I just had to. Um, not many people are using it at all, so there's a lot of people that don't understand how the gear set fully works. So we'll go into it. Um, stick around after I've done the, I've done the build video. There's a couple of clips you need to see. Um, 
and I'll explain, I'll explain why at the end of the build bit. Um, but yeah, let's go into it. So, it's ongoing directive with a ninja bike. Not overly, you know, massive on the whole scale of things, but it's good. So, I've got my level 21 Eagle Bearer. Only 21 because I haven't got the exotic components to get it to 22. Um, secondary for mass, you can use whatever you want in there to be fair. Um, Say this is a good is a good one to be fair. Um, all God Rolls stats, obviously. Um, pistol, I really must optimize that to be fair. Anyway, you can use Orbit, you can use the Profit, you can use TDR card, however you want to do it. It's up to you, whichever you prefer to use. Um, second, the, the pistol is not massively um, needed. Specialization, the only reason I've gone for Demolitionist is because of the extra damage to target out of cover when in group. You can go for the uh, firewall because of the medkit. The medkit's quite nice on that sense because obviously you get the, the healing over time, which is good. So if you're solo, probably use that. If you're actually in, in a group, maybe use that. Um, but yeah, skills wise, um, decoy, so that people don't know where you are. Um, and a bit toxic, but foam. And I'll go into why in a second. So let's go into the pieces. I'm going to do active mask. First piece, a two piece bonus is 15% status effect. Third piece is 30% reload speed. And the fourth piece, rules of engagement. Shooting a status affected enemy will apply a mark. That's why I use foam. It's a tier 1 foam, so it didn't really do much of everything anyway. Um, but killing a marked enemy grants a full clip of hollow point ammo for you and your active weapon and half a clip of the agent's active weapon to the rest of the party. Okay? So hypothetically speaking, if I've got a full magazine, right? Half of that magazine, so 30 rounds, is going to go over to the party members. All the party members, right? But it also doesn't say... I have to get the kill. All it says is killing a marked enemy. So essentially, I could mark an enemy, kill him, and then my magazine capacity will be halved, and the rest of the group will get hollow point, and I will get a full clip of hollow point in my um, in my mag. This is one thing that a lot of people don't understand. You don't have to get the kill yourself so the person wearing the ongoing directive build they don't have to get the kill to get the hollow point as long as the player is marked or the npc is marked then whoever actually kills the npc I, i'm guessing npc or even player if it's an npc then it could be another npc so potentially if you've got a, a patrol going around and you're in a, in a pvp fight you could mark the patrol if the uh, players attacking you kill that then theoretically you get I haven't tested that yet but theoretically you may get the actual ammo but if your team members kill it after a mark you get hollow point okay the marks last for 10 seconds hollow point ammo amplifies weapon damage and by 20% and applies bleed on hit so you can constantly keep it up if you're constantly killing stuff you can constantly keep up the bleed ammo and it is fun. Essentially, um, by using the ninja bike, you can use um, a wiki backpack if you wanted to, and then you get even more damage. But in this scenario, you get more talents active, and you get the same amount of damage as if you didn't have wiki on. Well, in fact, you get more damage to be fair. Um, so stats on the actual on the mask. Armor, headshot damage, headshot damage. Gloves, weapon damage, headshot damage. Holster, armor, headshot damage. My backpack is the ninja bike. So weapon damage, armor, and skill tier. And then mod, headshot damage. 
Um, the main talent on the ninja bike slots in with any equipped gear set or brand set item to fill a requirement towards unlocking a gear set bonus but can unlock bonuses from multiple sets simultaneously. So that's why I've got three piece ongoing directive, one piece providence and then overload. My providence chest piece, headshot damage, crit chance, weapon, armor, crit chance, headshot damage, headshot damage. I could get off with having, if I've got one with crit damage on there, 6% crit damage isn't really much, so I could technically have crit, well, crit chance. Crit, crit chance isn't too much, because I could have crit, dam crit damage there. Um, for a bit of survivability, unbreakable. Um, it's a given if you want if you want any sort of survivability, obviously. Um, Fox's Prayers, probably best in slot. First piece bonus ride for damage, which doesn't really signify, you know, go with the build. Second is accuracy. Um, armor damage, damage attack set cover, which is multiplicative, and then crit damage. I have tried it with crit with headshot as well, and I hit harder. Um, the overall, you know, red numbers may be slightly less, but when I hit a crit, it's obviously much more which to be fair I do hit a lot of crits with it um, you could if you wanted to go for say contractors but I find that the 20% accuracy for myself works really well especially with the eagle bearer um, so if you do have trouble like, controlling any gun or anything like that put that on um, may help you or you know just get used to the actual recoil of the guns um, because they're fairly easy to actually control anyway. Um, so yeah. Um, plus you get the damage to armor, which is the same as, say, contractor um, foxes, in a way. So it's still multiplicative. Um, Stats-wise, I have 36 crit chance, 72 crit damage, and 170 headshot. And um, yeah, pretty much that's it. So that synergies perfectly together and is so much fun to run. Um, in a team, it's great. Solo, it's again, great. I've still got manhunts um, solo with this build. You, obviously you die a lot because well, solo in this game is just really hard. Um, but no, it, it, it's fun. It's a very fun build to actually run. Um, and if you know how it how it works properly, then it can work even better. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed the build. Um, as I said, if you can stick around for the next two clips, they are, are some cheaters. One is a Rotaru, and the other one is a guy called Legit Aimbotter. I th I don't know whether it's the same board that he's using um, when he talks. I don't think it is, but I can't be guaranteed. Um, but if it is, I know the voice, and this person got bullied a lot in the DZ and and raged a lot. Um, so I'm not surprised that he's cheating. Um, but yeah, um, enjoy the video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. A few moments later.